Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about cryptocurrency from time to time. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and click the notification to get my frequent updates. Okay, so we are looking at SoFi Technologies. The stock is up 10% on the day. So it's a blowout day for SoFi Technologies. Uh, it has been gotten beat up for the last few weeks since the earnings call has been down. And we can see it has a 52-week high of $24, and it has a 52-week low of $7. I think we saw that $7 two weeks ago, but we did get news. SoFi CEO Anthony Noto bought over $300,000 in shares this week. So Noto, the CEO, is very confident in the company. Uh, this article says insiders are buying SoFi, and here's why. Now, there's a huge short interest out on the stock. There's a lot of people shorting the stock. That means putting pressure on the stock. A lot of hedge funds keeping the stock well under $10 per share. But with that, we have the CEO of SoFi buying more shares, okay? So this is the good stuff. This is good times we see a company coming back. Yahoo Finance says there's two challenger banks that are well positioned for this new fintech bank. This means no more brick and mortar, everything online. There will not be an actual bank location in most cases. But SoFi does all three. They do loans. They do home loans. They do investing brokerage. They do everything. You can invest your crypto if you want to. They do car loans. Uh, so SoFi is red hot. And we'll see if Anthony Noto uh, through this next quarter can, you know, really uh, surprise investors. The next report is uh, somewhere around June, July. The next earnings call will be out. But at least on the day, SoFi is up 10%. Okay. Let's take a look at my Robinhood portfolio. As you can see, it was a stunner day. It was up 4%. Now, this is a fourth day in a row. We've had stocks go crazy, basically go over 2 or 3%. So, again, the portfolio is up way more than 1%. It's up four times that at 4%. So, it's a fantastic day in the market. And as you see, when we open, it went up, and then it stayed up for the whole day. So, it's a fantastic day in the market kind of stalled out at four o'clock, but it was still a great day in the market today. Uh, just no delay. Every, it stalled there and then it broke out even higher. So fantastic day in the market. Now let's take a look at the portfolio, which stocks were on fire. SoFi Technologies, again, was up 10%. That was a leader. Datadog was up 5%. And videos were up six percent. Upstar Holdings, another fintech, was up seven percent. And there it is, Snap, the social media company, was up five percent. So a number of stocks were up way over five percent today. Great day in the market. Uh, it's been a long term coming. This is this is great. I mean, we had four days straight of good movement in the market. Now let's take a quick look at CNBC. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see where the indexes were, the major indexes. I'm not sure if they closed. Okay, so the Dow Jones was up almost one percent at 0.80%. The S&P was up 1.17%. The NASDAQ was up 2%. And the Russell 2000 stocks, the small cap stocks, were up 1%. So it was a great day in the market, as you can see here on CNBC. And of course, the VIX was down, so that was good as well. Uh, the headline is Dow rallies more than 270 points at stocks post best week since 2020. You got that right. So we had four days straight. 
Now, I don't con- think this rally will continue, but I mean, you know, you never can tell. Okay. So another great day in the market. I'm expecting a rest on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but at least for the last four days, we've had a fantastic day in the market. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Ever since Powell made his comments and said we're only going to move up a quarter of a percent, we got good news in the market. The market rallied. And so this is where all this green came from. Okay. Now, let me get to my other portfolio. Here we are in my other portfolio. We're up 3.42%. So not as much as the Robin Hood. We're up over a little over 1600. Top stock of the day again is Tesla. Tesla, we are up 3.95%, almost 600. Okta, we're up 8%, uh, almost 200. And SoFi Technologies, another great fintech company, is up over 10%. And I like the way SoFi has been managing itself. Sure, it's down 40% from what it was earlier this year. But this is a great position. Each time they've released an earnings call, they've announced new uh, catalysts, more users, the banking charter, a better leadership team. Uh, They've made higher acquisitions. They've acquired two new companies since their earnings call. Okay, so SoFi Technology is making big moves. Found the shares were up 10% on the day. And then last, uh, Upstar Holdings was up 7%. Another great fintech company, which is, as you can see, it's down quite a bit from a a level of 400 per share down to $125 a share, okay? So Upstar Holdings is building that confidence in Wall Street each quarter. They're going to show that they can get back to that $300 per share, okay? So Upstar Holdings is at $125 per share, right behind SoFi. Now they do more about uh, just loans right now, automotive loans and loans, and their interest rates are a little high. Uh, But anyway, Upstar Holdings is in the game, all online, artificial intelligence, making the decision on your loan, okay? So Upstar Holdings trade at about $125 per share, uh, up today 7.65%. Okay, now let's take a look at the top day gainers, which, you know, for those getting in and out the market really quick, Affirm Holdings was up 10%. uh, It's still down quite a bit. Uh, And SoFi Technologies, second place, third place, Square, uh, which is very impressive. I really like to see that out of Square, or now known as Block, up 9%. Also, another favorite of mine is Okta. Okta is up 8%. Okay, so for all you day traders, on the day gains, Affirm, SoFi, Square, and Okta were up there today. So those were great stocks. Now, let me take a look at today's opportunities in the market. Uh, Let's take a look at the best options. Let's see here. Top stock. Of the day, of course, is Tesla still at over 500%. Uh, BAC, Bank of America, is still down under $45 per share. Again, I think as rates go higher, these bank stocks will go back, will go higher too. I think Bank of America can get to that $50 per share. So that could have been an opportunity today, sitting at $42 per share. Also, Microsoft, Microsoft is under, whoa, Microsoft just hit $300 per share. Wow. I think people better grab on to Microsoft before it hits that $350 again. Okay, so Microsoft shares were up 1.64%. Uh, what else do we have? RF, again, the banks are a little bit under pressure here. Um, let's see where those rate hikes go. Again, Regis Financial, another bank stock is slightly down today. And this might be a $28, $29 share price once the market picks up the new rates and all that is calculated in. Um, See a whole lot here. 
Let's see where CLF CLF is still red hot at a, it's at $27 per share. Wow. Also, really quickly, more uh, JP Morgan sitting under $150. I think that's still a bargain. So a uh, few opportunities today. Again, we had a lot of green. Uh, we have Microsoft and Bank of America, two stocks worth looking at. Uh, and again, it was a great day in the market. Let's take a look. Like I said, it was a great day. Tesla was my top earner at $500, Okta in second, and SoFi Technologies at $119, okay? So it was a fantastic day in the portfolio. Let's hope some of this positive movement continues on. And let's see. Also, don't forget to get your free stocks here with my Weeble link. Get your five free stocks when you open an account with Webull, okay? So use my Webull link if you like to get started trading in stocks. Get five free stocks when you make a minimal deposit of at least a dollar, okay? So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. If you like to get some free stock from Robinhood, I also have their link. Everybody have a great weekend. Thank you.